Happy Friday, everybody. And here's um, a new one on our um, repertoire of Use What You Have. Uh, today we're going to do, um, I keep using my little watercolor paints, but I'm just trying to teach you different ways to use what we have at home. I have kind of sketched a little flower pot with uh, flowers because my friend Candy wanted me to teach something like this. So if you have any ideas of things that you would like to learn, just send me a message and send me a picture of more or less to what you would like to learn how to paint. And that helps me pick out uh, the design for the following week. And I only sketched it out because I'm painting upside down and it's kind of hard sometimes to keep a straight line if I'm looking at it, you know, from the top down. But I like to do it this way so that when you're painting, you can see what I'm doing and not the back of my hand. So if you look at your paper, uh, this happens to be a 5 by 7 uh, watercolor cardstock from Strathmore. I'm going to do my vase a little bit a quarter of an inch, a quarter of a way down uh, from the top. And what I do is I hold my pen up and I make a little circle and that's the top of my vase, right? And then I'm going to do a little couple of lines here. So all we're doing is shapes, right? Circles and a big letter U. Everybody can do a letter U, right? And then I'm going to put a little triangle here to give it like a little shade. And this is going to be part of our table. So just a straight line, kind of curved, right? Not straight, but curved. And then there's going to be a little shade or shadow underneath here. And then the stems are just a straight line into your little pot. And you're going to have another one coming out over here. And another one over here. Okay. My flowers... Look, I'm just going to scribble a flower. I'm going to scribble another flower. And I'm going to have another flower here. Because you should always have uneven numbers of whatever you're doing, right? Okay, so we're going to start painting. I'm going to be using watercolors. So use whatever color you have at home. It doesn't matter. Um, you can use kids' watercolors. So I'm going to start the vase with a little light blue. And uh, I don't use a lot of paint in my brush. I just do mostly water, so I'm, see how I have a light blue here? So what I do is I put a little bit on my pot, I rinse it, and I tap it on my paper towel, and then with clean water, I go all the way around so you can see the water in my uh, little bucket here. And by the time I finish these lessons, my husband will be <laughs> a pro at learning how to paint by just watching me paint every week. So... Uh, I'm sure that he'll be really happy to get out of the house once this is all over with, but I appreciate him taping all of this. And uh, and so many of you are enjoying them, so he appreciates that you appreciate what he's doing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm doing a little bit of um, a little lilac here on the, on the top of it. Uh, why? I don't know. I just like the color. Um, and I'm just going to do that just to outline my, my piece. Notice that I haven't done uh, much moving around. And when you're doing a watercolor... Remember that the paint is going to go wherever there's water. So if you don't want water on the outside edge here, don't put water there. If you don't want water out here, don't do that. So for the flowers, this is like super technical here. Uh, I'm just going to put a little bit of water in the center of my flowers. And I use the Sharpie um, permanent marker so they don't bleed. And that's why you can do this this way. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a light um, color of red and I'm just going to drop it into the flower and let the water do the painting for you. See how it spreads out? If it spreads too much, you can take your brush, press it down, and it sucks up some of the water. See that? So I'm going to take a little bit more paint and put it down here. And right now it doesn't look like much, right? But watch this. This is where the magic comes in. If you take a darker red and put it right underneath it, the water will connect with the lighter color. And if you leave it alone and don't touch it, don't keep going back and forth with it, you will have a nice little flower when we finish this. Isn't that cool? Okay. So... I just get excited with all this painting, and I really appreciate everybody taking a look at this. So now for the bottom here, I just put a little bit of water, because that's going to be um, my table area. 
And I'm going to take the same light pink that I used um, for the top of my flowers and I'm going to put a little bit of that underneath here and let the water take it wherever it wants to go. Okay. And we have a little uh, shadow underneath the pot. See how easy and fast this is going? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of the um, um, shadow underneath my pot and I'm going to take a little bit of that purple color that I used on the vase and I'm just going to come here and drop that just a little line. See that? Not much more than that. I'm going to rinse my brush completely, tap it on my paper towel, and just let the water do the work. See this? The water will, the paint will go wherever the water is, and that's how you're creating the little shade. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of that green because we have stems in our flowers and I'm going to do a really straight line coming out of the, uh, the pot or the flower vase, I should say. And I'm going to have it going into um, the pot right here. See how cool that looks? I've always liked to paint. You know, if you take a coloring book and you start painting, you will be amazed of the things that you will create. Okay, we're almost done. So I know that there's a, there's a big difference between the green and the blue here. So what I'm going to do, this blue should be almost dry now. So I'm going to come in here and just tap a little of my green in there because that's a reflection of the green in my pot. And for the background, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put plain old water in here, not you know, just start on one side and take the light blue that I started with and I dump it right outside here. I don't go right onto the vase and then move it around to give it a little color. See how cool that looks? I mean, you can do this on a note card and send it to your friends. Uh, this is actually a, um, a postcard. So you could actually put a stamp on this and mail it to somebody. You remember when you used to go on vacation and send people postcards? Well, this is kind of the same thing. If you have too much paint, just take your brush, lift it up, and voila, it's gone. So that is my little flower. And I'm going to, and for um, the end of April, I have a surprise uh, that I can't tell you about, so you have to stay tuned. So subscribe to my YouTube channel. The link will be um, on, my, on the bottom of this video. And uh, this way you'll be notified of other videos coming up. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy your weekend and see you next week.